Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing another Poppet Combo game. This one's called Day 7. There was an early version of this released about a month ago called Day 1, but I think they said from the get-go that it was going to be part of a larger game, so I just waited around for that, and now it's here. It was released on Puppet Combo's Patreon, which I'll have linked in the description if you want to check that out. I don't know what it's about. I actually have no idea. I've stayed really blind when it comes to this one. If you want to see all the Puppet Combo games that I've played, there's a playlist to that in the description. The playlist is called Puppet Combo Games. <laughs> Day one. Here we go. So this is what released about a month ago, and I haven't seen any of this. I couldn't finish it all. Don't worry, tomorrow's another day. Maybe if I come in at six, get a few hours of work done before the office fills up. I'll grab dinner on the way home. God, it's already Thursday. I just need more time. Sam won't want to hear that. I'm already on thin ice. 22 years here. For what? All right, someone's not happy at their office job. As someone who worked an office job for three years, uh, I can understand that. In fact, these look exactly like the elevators I used to take every day. Oh boy. Oh, hello. Security guard, late night again? Yeah, this new account is killing me. You missed a great game. Hey, don't tell me a thing. With any luck, the VCR recorded it this time. Fat chance. My son came over to set it up. Anyway, I'll see you. Okay, so Terrence is a boomer. <laughs> Get that out of the way. Get home safe. I'll try. Where is the security guard? There's no one behind the desk. Kind of a stylistic choice, I guess, to just have him pop up during the cutscene. Exit the building? Yeah. Is there a reason I should stay? That old school Resident Evil style walk out of the building animation. Cool. So here we are, on the barren streets late at night. Where am I supposed to be going right now? Kinda reminds me of uh, the beginning of Night Ripper right now. Let's head to this big purple glowy thing. Maybe there's something cool over here. Are these our apartments? It keeps moving my camera around. Oh, this is a store. We don't want to go there. Oh, I see. When you press the arrow keys, you rotate. You don't strafe. That's going to take some getting used to. So you actually can get away with not using the mouse at all. The subway is the other way. Well, thanks for telling me. I don't know this place. Isn't this your town? You should have given me directions when we exited the building. Didn't you know I'd be occupying your body? I guess not. I guess he's unaware that I'm a passenger along for the ride. Really, he's the passenger because I'm controlling his movement. Alright, I'll look out for the subway. Makes sense because we saw that in the introductory cutscene. Can I go on the bridge though? The subway is the other way. What do you mean the other way? You mean this way, maybe? The subway is the other way. Okay. Well, there's two other ways. I do like the ambiance here. The subway is the other way. Puppet combo. There's a- there has to be a better way to communicate <laughs> the direction that you're supposed to go. Isn't this the subway right here? Oh, okay, good. Well, hello. Repent, sinners! Repent! The end is near! The time for forgiveness is running out! You, over there! Should we say me? I'll say me? Will you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Hail Satan! Be gone, demon! Be gone! Where is this person? <laughs> They're just outside the subway exit, or...? All right, maybe we should listen to them, insert a token, yeah. I mean, don't we want to do that? Let's go to the subway.
So now do we wait for our train? Where's this lead? Oh. Back down. Oh! Homeless man. Can you spare some change, boy? Uh, sure thing. God bless you. Have a nice day. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh boy. Hmm. Here we go. Let's get on. We've done it. We're on the subway. And there's no one else here. At least not in this car. I'm seeing if I can go to different cars. No? Okay. Can I sit down, maybe? Excuse me, sir. Sorry to bother you. Is this the train to 59th Street? Yes. Just a few more stops. Oh, thank God. The first bit of luck I've had all day. It's been a rough one. Let's just say it's been a rough month. I just moved here. Big move? Huge. I'm a small town girl. What brings you to the big city? Fame, fortune, adventure, I'm a living cliche. Have you found it? All I found is a dead rat in my hamper and a creepy neighbor who won't leave me alone. Well, guess you'll have to keep looking then. Tell me about it. Must be a late night in the office for you. Is your wife waiting patiently at home? Not these days. It didn't work out. What is that supposed to mean? I thought, isn't Sam your wife? What do you mean it didn't work out? Are you guys still together? You just said you were on thin ice. What happened? To me, late nights at the office. With your secretary? With my file cabinet and a pot of coffee. Well, this is my stop. So soon. Unfortunately, it was nice to talk to you. Take care. Bye bye. A farewell, invisible stranger. Trash bags. It was nice to talk to you. Take care. Have I really become that pathetic? Couldn't even get her number? Well, she was half my age. Wouldn't be right. She could have been my daughter. Yeah, I knew you were a boomer. Let's get your boomer ass out of here. It's sleepy boomer time. Boomer needs a nappy nap. Had your son set up the VCR for you. What's there to set up? You literally plug the cables into the TV. I shouldn't shame those that are technologically... What happened? Impaired? Technologically impaired? What the hell is this? Am I having a stroke? That smell. Like a wet carpet. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Is anyone there? Help! What's going on? Wait a second. Oh, are these the back rooms? It's like the creepy pasta. Oh, this is the back rooms game that. Okay, I saw Puppet Combo tweet about this several times. I have to stay calm. If I panic, I'm not gonna figure this out. I didn't know it was this game though. Cool. Yeah, there's a creepypasta about the back room. It's basically, it's like a little pocket dimension. From what I remember, at least. I haven't... thought about it in a long time. It's like a little pocket dimension that looks like an office space. It smells like wet, wet carpet. And you're not alone. In the never-ending maze of... yellowed... wallpapered hallways. So, I don't know, I guess we're... it's dark over here. I definitely hear something. Last thing I remember was walking up the stairs on the way home. Yeah, and then we dropped down here. Interesting. Aren't you a boomer though? You should be loving this wallpaper. 
The only thing that would make it better is if there was a floral pattern. Dried blood. What the hell is going on? I mean, carpet, wallpaper, this is boomer paradise. Alright, I'll lay off, I'll lay off the boomer poking, because according to Gen Zers, I'm a boomer as well. I'm over the age of 25, so, you know, boomer. That girl in the train, did she do something to me? A drug? No, I still have my wallet. Sorry, but if you were born earlier than 2000, you're a boomer. Welcome to 90% of the population. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Do I just kind of wander around until something happens, or are we trapped here forever? I mean, this is just day one, right? Did I have a? Did I? Is this a dead end? Maybe that homeless guy. We gave him change, though. We initiated some good karma. Wow. Yeah, this is totally just. Is this a little pocket here? No. Dude, okay, I guess we'll maybe go left here? Just have to keep walking until I find something. How big can this place be? I don't know, but we found another blood stain. More blood. Is this a trail? Bro, I don't know. Let's keep going, though. The blood appears to be leading this way. Okay, there's three different paths. We'll check this one first. Must be some kind of sick game. They put people in here for what? Entertainment. Let's see. Okay. Is that a face in the wall? What is that? There's somebody fucking watching me. I can feel that. Is it a camera? I don't see anything. Well, I mean, there's some- there's a screen of some kind, or I see static in the eyes. Weird, though, this is a dead end. I mean, stuck to the wall. Should I try to take it off? Maybe if I had something to pry it with. Play dumb. Don't let them know you have any idea. Maybe he's in here. Thought I heard something. So we need to find a tool of some kind. Come back and pry the mask off? Is that the general idea? What if he has a gun? I read that story in high school. The most dangerous game. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll go back. I'll look for... Something to pry off the mask with. Is somebody really hunting me here? Why me? Wouldn't they want somebody younger? A guy with money? Ah! Aha! Screwdriver. Okay, we got the screwdriver. Now we just gotta get back. Should be easy enough. I think I remember exactly where to go. About to be in the room with the blood stain. My son will report me missing. But how long will it take? The subway had to have cameras. And then right here, got it. Mental map on point. There's a hole behind the mask. Look through? Yeah, of course. Of course we're gonna look through. Somebody must have seen something. Did it happen in the subway? Uh, hello? Officer? Uh, I need help. Are you okay? Oh! They're not. Shit. He's dead. Seems like the blood was completely drained from his body. His gun is gone too. Oop. 
Where's the gun? There's another passageway behind this wall. The hole's too small to climb through. Damn. Oh. What? The wall split in two. Someone else here? Let's follow the sound. What's that noise? It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. It's just a dead end over here. Yeah, that noise is driving me a little crazy too. But how could it have happened? I remember falling into this. I wasn't out. I don't think I was. It was like I just fell through the floor. I hear footsteps. Let's walk toward them. Maybe not. Maybe we don't want to walk towards them, actually. Let's walk away from the footsteps. Okay. Yeah, I definitely hear footsteps. I hope you guys can hear it too. I'm gonna, you know, I mess with the audio in these videos a lot, trying to make sure you can hear things properly. The cold, the air conditioner is way too high. It's like a refrigerator. The musty carpet the smell is going to drive me nuts. What is this? There's something over there. The hell is that? I don't know. Maybe we should keep away from it. I can't tell if we should investigate it or keep away from it. Sounds like it's walking around though. This whole place is so familiar. I know I've been here before. I was a kid. Really young. But when did it happen? Where was I? I don't know, bro. Let's just keep walking around for now. Whoa! I heard it. I saw a shadow. What? You look a little chuffed. Yeah! Let's pry it off. It's attached too tightly to the wall. I need something stronger. Oh, sorry. Stronger to pry it off. Alright. Let's look for something stronger. Alright. We must find something. And quickly. What was that thing we saw? We saw a shadow. I feel obliged to reiterate that I do not like maze games. Even if they do take place in the back rooms. But, uh, okay. This is a dead end, I think. Oh! It wasn't a dead end. You keep going. Whoa! Big ass room. Sound like it came from this way. What was that? I heard some little giggle ass over here. Where your giggly ass at? <laughs> what? Oh. Hello? Hey! Wait, don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Where are your parent? Your parents. Where are your parents? Answer me, goddammit! I didn't mean that. I'm not gonna hurt you. What's your name? Where are we? What is this place? The bad man is coming. You better hide. Wait! I'll find you again later. I know the way out. What? Better hide? Where am I hiding? The 
bad man. What bad man? Mission. No, no, no. Go this way. Go this way. Hide. Where would I hide? I don't know. Where do you hide? Where do you hide here? Uh, okay. That's not. Keep going. Keep going. I don't know. Frick, are you serious? What is this? This looks like this should open right here. There's nowhere to hide in the back rooms. It's a big old maze back here. Go here, it's dark. It's dark this way. I don't hear him anymore. Did I lose him? I think it's gone. I'm starting to feel weak. Is there a safe place to rest? I don't know, but we don't forget we gotta find something stronger to remove the mask. Well, this is as good of a spot as any. If something comes around the corner, I'll be able to spot it. Yeah, but then do you have a way out? No, you're trapped. Why would you hide in a dead end? How big is this building? I have to be close to an exit. Am I moving deeper into it? I can't tell. Seems like there's another area behind the walls. It smells damp. I could feel the moisture on my face. Making a hole in the wall. No, it's too strong. Like, there's a sheet of iron reinforcing it. I need to find water. This whole place is so familiar. It's like I've been here before. I know I've been here before. Yeah, you said that earlier. I'm not really sure what you meant. But it's kind of creepy thinking about how you were here when you were a kid. What's happening? A funeral? A funeral with no one in attendance. Kind of cruel to have a sky background there. We're in the back rooms. There is no sky. Wait, am I... Oh! Terrence? Where's your brother? I don't know, Mom. Tuck your shirt in. This isn't a playground. I know, Mom. Come here, baby. I know you're sad about your cousin. We'll pick something up for you guys on the way home. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Terrence already... Even, even though he's a kid, he's still... So it kind of sounds like this. Who is playing this? I don't think the organ player wants to talk. Okay, then. Hey, Terrence. Let's play hide-and-seek. No, you know Mom's gonna be mad. Don't be a chicken. No, Malcolm. Come on, there's a whole bunch of empty rooms back here. Just follow me. Oh. So this is the memory. Let's go to the left. Playing hide and seek back here, huh? Excuse me. Don't run around these. Let's go right this time. Hey, Terrence, back here. Locked. Damn it, Malcolm. Don't jump out at me like that. You really are chicken. No, I'm not. Okay, look, we're gonna play hide and seek. You hide, I'll seek. Come on, there's dead people back here. So what? They're dead. They can't hurt you. Malcolm! I'm gonna count to ten. You better start hiding. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Oh no. Three Mississippi. Uh oh. I gotta hide. Four Mississippi. Oh. Five Mississippi. Uh oh.
Ready or not, here I come. How important is it? What? That door just opened. What? Wait, is it? Am I looping? I don't understand. What am I doing? Malcolm, where are you? Malcolm, you win. I'm chicken. Blah, blah, blah. Just come out. I don't know where I am. Uh, it's locked. Where? Malcolm, where are you? I'm going in circles. This door's open. Something's after me. Oh, come on. Do we just have to run from it? Where are we going? <laughs> Christ, it was just a dream. Did I die? I need to find a way out of here. I'm getting weaker. Let's find some water. Day two. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is a little different. I hear music. Should I follow the music, maybe? But what if there's something stronger back here? No, this is just a bunch of dead ends. Yeah. Okay. Let's go towards the music, I guess. Maybe ill-advised, but... I haven't actually, like, seen anything yet. What's this? What's that? A change purse? It's full of coins. I can use this to leave a trail where I've been. I can drop a coin by pressing... Slash? Slash? There are a lot of coins. I can drop as many as I want. Still need to find some water. Okay, I dropped one just now. Interesting. I need water. Yeah, I know that. I'm looking for some, okay? I hear water. Or what I think is water. Bugs. So many bugs. Am I really considering eating them? I saw it on TV. Maybe it's not so bad. Ugh, they bite. It burns. What kind of bugs are they? Are they poisonous? Okay, I thought that was water, but it is not. Is this an escalator? That leads to nowhere. What's this? The sign says, exit is ahead, keep north. With an arrow, pointing forward. I should be careful. I'm not gonna make it much longer.
Where the hell do I go? Back here. Code red. Sail. It's unpleasant. Unpleasant to look at here. I've been here before. Oh my god. Keep north. Which way is north? This looks new. An old organ. The music is coming from a speaker. Not somebody playing it. So that's new. I went this way. I think my body's shutting down. No, 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 no. This is dead end? It's hard to see. Oh, there's bugs everywhere. Wait. I just went through the wall. What the- where the- Where the hell am I? What is this? Oh my god, I have no idea where I am. What? This is really unpleasant. Where the fuck am I? This is awful. I'm- I'm about to... I think I'm gonna die. I'm too weak, I can't walk anymore. I just wanna fall asleep. Okay? Did I mess up? Was I supposed to get some water? I couldn't find any. Wake up. Hey, are you okay? Hello? Ugh. Here, drink this. Oh good, thank god. You stand? Yeah. Here, let me help you. Let me help you up. Uh, <laughs> high vanilla ice. Day three. <laughs> Sally says, You don't look so good. No shit, lady. I was almost dead meat. I'm Sally. <laughs> Terrence, thank you. Thank you for saving me. Well, I couldn't just leave you to die here. Where is here? I was hoping you knew. You stuck here too? Were you walking up the stairs at 23rd Street Station? 23rd Street Station? When you fell in here, she looks like she was climbing mountains. No, I'm from Utah. I was camping with my friends. What? We were hiking and next thing I knew, I'm falling. Then I ended up here alone. So you fell in here, when you were camping. Yes, thank God I have all my supplies. Enough food and water for another day or two. And after that? Well, let's hope someone rescues us after that. Rescue? Whoever put us here is playing some kind of sick game. 
Well, we have no choice but to play along for now. Have you seen the old man? What old man? He's been stalking me since I've been here. He has long fingernails. I haven't seen anyone. There's also a girl, a little girl. She says she knows the way out. Did she tell you where? No, she ran away. We need to find her, unless the man got her. I know I sound crazy, but the whole situation is crazy. <laughs> it is. Let's keep moving. You're pretty weak. Maybe you should rest and wait for help. We can't. It's dangerous in here. Do you have anything to protect yourself? Just my pocket knife. Well, it's better than nothing. Come on. Okay, let's go. I'll be right behind you. You will? Okay. Putting a coin here. I guess we're moving on. This noise is driving me crazy, though. It's all the same. Not quite. We just need to find what we're looking for. What are we looking for? There's more of this place than just this. Behind the walls is another section. It's different. It's metallic. We did see that. It's like a back room. But there's an exit to this place. That's where it is. Uh, well, I mean, I could go back and find it. Because I did see it before. Am I supposed to go back? Am I supposed to go backwards and... Oh. What's all this? Oh wait, what's... Hang on. Writing on the wall. If you're not careful and you no-clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms. Where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights of, at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell I'd heard you. What the hell does that mean? That's the original creepypasta! We're trapped in boomer hell! Okay. Oh, bugs. This way, though? Oh! Hang on. We're getting somewhere. I think. What? Feels like reality is bending. Maybe we're getting near the center. I think it's the opposite. The center holds this place together. The farther away you move, the more discombobulated it becomes. It, it gets, rather. Maybe we should turn back then. I got distracted by him saying discombobulated. One of my favorite words. No, there might be an opportunity to slip through the other section. The metallic section? Yes. Well, uh, are we not gonna talk about this? This person right here? Hanging upside down? Okay, there's a bunch of them. Let's keep going. Oh my god. Dude. Looking for the metallic part. I don't know. We're back out here. Wait a minute. What's wrong? I've been here before. This is the start. This is where I started. It's a big fucking loop. Are you sure? Absolutely positive. There's no way back. Fuck! Okay, calm down. Let's rest. We've come a long way. You don't look so well. Let's start a fire and eat something. Start a fire in here? We'll camp here. A fire? A campfire. I tried to burn my way out of here. It doesn't work. The walls don't react to it at all. But on the plus side, the fire is warm. Who sounds crazy now. Trust me on this. We need some wood. I used a chair last time. There's a chair close by. I can get it and bring it back. Great. I'll set up the camp. With what? You don't have the wood yet. There's a chair close by? I don't remember that. 
Where's the chair? I don't remember where the chair is. Oh, here it is. It's been moved. Okay, now I'll go back. The way that I came. Can I do that? There we go. Okay, I'm following my coins. There's another one. Okay, there. I can think I came from. Yeah, okay, I came from this way. Right here, little girl. Hey, where have you been? Are you okay? Cut this shit. It's not cute. It's dangerous in here. I'll bring you somewhere safe. Somewhere safe place. Shut up. You're not my daddy. Oh, time for games. You know where the exit is? I need to know. I'm not telling. I'm not alone anymore. There's a nice lady named Sally with me. We won't hurt you, but I need you to come with me and show us the exit. Don't touch me, I'm telling my daddy. Daddy! Come back, you little brat, damn it. Where'd she go? I'm just gonna go back. Oh, oops. Okay, here we go. I came from this way. Sally! Here we go. Sally? Sally? Hey, you got the wood? Yeah, I saw the little girl again. What'd she say? You hear that? No, what? She's watching us and laughing. She wouldn't show me the exit. Okay. Well, let's work on the fire. <laughs> Sally doesn't care. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a family? Yeah. They must be freaked out. My friends, too. Haha. <laughs> well, hopefully they're looking for you. Not that it'll do much good here. I, I could... I could do without hearing all this crap in the background. My god. You? What about your family? I have a son. Might be a few months before he realizes I'm gone. And my job... Guess I'm fired! <laughs> ha 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 ha! Sorry. Well, one positive out of this. Why don't we rest? We'll try to loop around again tomorrow. Maybe find the way out this time. Good idea! And thank you for saving me. Well, I wasn't gonna just leave you to die. Thought I wanted that. Just go to sleep and let everything drift away. But now, I do want to get out of here. I want another shot! Maybe... I can do things better this time. Uh, second chance at life. I'm gonna take my headphones off because, oh my god, please make it stop. It's not gonna stop, is it? It's never gonna stop. Sally? What happened? What? What'd you do? Shut up. Sally? I'm gonna drink your blood, then I'm gonna eat your eyes. What? Sally. Her clothes are ripped off. He ate her eyes. Where'd he go? Booyah! Attack or run? Run. Let's just run. Come out, come out wherever you are. It's weird because he's invisible right now. What can I use to defend myself? Sally had a knife, didn't she? Still have a screwdriver. What? Die! Run. Hang on. What's this? What's this? What's this? A mask. Put the mask on. Oh, what the fuck is going on?
coward. I mean, his back is turned. Day five. Hungry. Oh, are we turning into the monster? There's someone back there. Are we hunting ourselves back here? Thirsty. Day six. Day seven. Hello? Is anyone out there? Hmm, where could they be? So I guess we've turned into the hunter. Was it the mask that did it to us? Or was it the back rooms? Or maybe it was ourselves all along. Our true nature. We got a second chance all right. I need help. Where am I? Where's my family? Hello? Somebody help me. I'm lost. Is anybody there? Well, that's the back rooms. The killer was me. Me bad guy. Me become killer. Okay, well. Once again, different kind of puppet combo game. Yeah, I think my main complaint with this game is the unbearable audio. Like, I think I have a headache now. <laughs> Which rarely happens to me. Rarely does it affect me like that, but oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like... Did not like the, um... The looping, staticky nonsense music. I like some of the other music in there. Hey, there's me. I'm a patron. I like some of the other music in the game, uh, especially some towards the beginning. I thought it had a good ambiance to it. It kind of had this like 80s sort of feel. I like synths. But yeah, the constantly looping staticky music just really put me off. Anyway, um, I also don't like maze games, so I wasn't scintillated by the gameplay. I do wonder how linear this game is. Because we never pried that second mask off, and that makes me wonder if maybe we could. If we had found something, another item that I never found. Maybe there's different endings depending on which route you take. Maybe if you find your way back to the metallic area, you can escape. And maybe I got an ending where, you know, you become trapped in the back rooms forever. I don't know. Or maybe this is the only way it can go. But as always, it's a unique game from Puppet Combo, and... Uh, I think it's good to have these type of games out in the indie horror sphere. So, had a good time overall, aside from my audio woes. And, uh, you know, not my favorite Puppet Combo game, but Puppet Combo's been a lot more experimental lately, which I think is good. I think, you know, Nun Massacre and Stay Out of the House and Babysitter Bloodbath and Power Drill Massacre, they're all, they're all very similar games, but lately they've been experimenting more and making um, games that are very different, like, uh, Northside Incident, I think was the last one that we played, and that one was very different from what they usually do, and, uh, this one, you know, again, very different, so I think it's good to experiment, and, uh, not every game can be a home run, for me, this wasn't a home run, but, uh, I, I do kind of like the same old, same old that they have been doing with Night Ripper and everything else, the running from a serial killer type of dynamic, so, that's, that's why I'm partial to, so I have a I have a bit of a bias there. Some of you might like this more experimental uh, 
dare I say, kitty horror show-esque uh, take on things, but let me know in the comments what you thought. If you want to see more Puppet Combo games, there's a playlist in the description. So, uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.